all right so as i was saying <coughs> uh we'll first go through the fiscal policy part before tackling the uh, tutorial questions so in uh, this uh, one this will not have uh, too much slides so i will be covering uh what is fiscal policy and uh understand uh, you should be able to understand ways that fiscal policy affect the aggregate demand and distinguish between government expenditure multiplier and tax multiplier and also uh, understand some things about the uh, government budget as well and in addition to this you should be able to understand how the fiscal policy actually affects the supply side or the aggregate supply directly as well. So the fiscal policy is basically the use of government budget to achieve macroeconomic objectives such as full employment, sustained long-term economic growth, and price stability. So these are three main things that they were, fiscal policy wants to achieve. As I was saying, these are the main three key uh, issues in the macroeconomic environment so fiscal policy refers to the government's choices regarding the overall level of government purchases and taxes so kinetto government purchases are uh, taxes are bahattani nuniya mukuya gendani a as a fiscal policy so it will influence the savings, investments, and growth in the long run in an economy. In the short run, it will affect the aggregate demand directly. So the main uh, goal of the fiscal policy is affecting the aggregate demand in the short run. So when policymakers uh, change the money supply that is under the monetary policy, or when they change the taxes under a uh, fiscal policy, it will affect the aggregate demand indirectly through spending stations from firms or households. So money supply iturukurima no taxes takurima indirectly aggregate demand iturugem midani through the changes in the consumption and investments and net exports. But when the government alters its own purchases of goods and services, it, it shifts the aggregate demand curve directly. So government, as, as we know, government expenditure is among the four main types of expenditure in the GDP. So when the government changes their expenditure pattern, it will affect the aggregate demand curve directly and it will shift the aggregate demand curve because it is not a price vector. Then, uh, as I have said, uh, fiscal policy is about taxes and purchases or the expenditures of the government. We will go look into what are taxes and expenditures. So, taxes are mainly uh, compulsory payment payments in the form of cash or in kind imposed by the government on households and Firms to support government expenditure. Because the government expenditure Korea Gendiumataka households are farms satum government to commis gotaka naga uh fasai nuniamum ehin gotaka vis wakiach naganyamum fasa noon gotha vis naganyamu miki any Texas. So uh uh so every uh, government expenditure we run kurani through Texas. So when the government uh, builds a, a bridge or builds a hospital or when they give a subsidy, that is using your tax money. So have a make for Nobuna Sukuriya, Tarukar Sukuriya, Price, and Nokia, that's your own money. So taxes can be categorized into two main types of taxes that is direct taxes and indirect taxes direct taxes are collected directly from the pay and the responsibility of the payment cannot be transferred to someone else uh, so direct taxes 
මේ පේපර් එක දෙහෙනි ටෙක්ස් මේ කුරවේ මීහා ඇන්ඩ් ඒගේ විස් බර්ඩන් එන්ඩ් නොන් රෙස්පොන්සිබිලිටි එක එහෙ මීහක ට්‍රාන්ස්ෆර් කුරවේ ගැන නම් දා විශාල ත පර්සනල් ඉන්කම් ටෙක්ස් නොනියා මු කම්පැනි ප්‍රොෆිට් ටෙක්ස් නොනි කැපිටල් ගේන් ටෙක්ස් එක හැටි සිකීමි ඩයරෙක්ට් ටැක්සස් දැන් indirect taxes can be shared or transferred to someone else misal ka export duty noni import duty noni yamo sales tax rajya mina ga gst tgst so mikala ichche he can be transferred to someone else misal ka export duty bodu kurima noni import duty bodu ko fee yamo uh, businesses can actually charge customers with higher prices to pay that import duty so a get feel for and they can actually pass it on to someone else gst vs misal ka aso business ta kun dakkan je hun tamuga vs it is it uh, ultimately we pay for any customers so these are the indirect taxes then in addition to this uh, government can actually build their taxes in three main ways one of which is progressive tax that means uh, when your income rises you will have to pay a larger percentage of your income as a tax as in, uh, in the taxes misal ka uh, if you guys uh, uh, went through the income tax uh, proposal of the government your tranches ta ka bahala misal ka 60000 ni fresh game me puta me pay for a fashion de hene 60000 na 80000 na de terega waki percentage then 80000 na 100000 na de terega every time ko bodu percentage so income bodu varaka bodu percentage ni charge korani as income tax am bikini progressive tax e the rajya ga bihar hadaf pinna gotum then whether it is progressive enough to no ni no to that is debatable hmm? then mean any regressive tax regressive tax ki a smaller percentage of income is paid in tax as income rises income mathi varaka income the small percentage which hand i dakkam Uh, as, uh, as a as a tax so i am making a regressive tax again for me ka che me oka vani misaka uh and regardless of your income waki amount ke dakkan den misaka satte ka rupiya dakkan je hena tax ke gotu so erun tax me income bode te mi honge as a percentage of their salary bala ero this satte ka rupiya could be very small compared to a person who gets only let's say 1000 rupiya per uh, is their salary hey oh me am bikini regressive tax then there is proportional tax that means at the same percentage of income is paid as tax at all income levels misaka abadus at any given uh uh tranches of salaries kitne me salary bodu ves kitne me salary kuda ves you will have to pay 5% of your uh income as tax so ये की प्रोपोर्शनल टैक्सन किया है। इस जीएसटी का कस्टमर्स पे करें बट द बर्डन ऑफ पेइंग इट ऑन इज ऑन टू द बिजनेसेस द बिजनेस तक उन जीएसटी कलेक्ट को फ बिजनेस तक उन मीटिंग पे करें टू द गवर्नमेंट एकाउ as you have said ultimately it me pay kura me ha no me boni government ang eti pay kura me ha no we et inka kura ka je then government expenditure by yam this refers to public expenditure made by the government to provide amenities for the public so a uh, public commerce kala hidumetta ke den wegen whether it is uh, building up an infrastructure project noniya mo public workers ke salary pay kuram vs noniya mo ehen administrative kame kuri again dam vs uh, any expenditure that the government incurs mikiyani government expenditure so government expenditures de baika me behani one of which is recurrent expenditure so recurrent expenditure is spending on items that are consumed and only last a limited period of time they are items that are used up in the process of providing a good or service so recurrent expenditure come fiscal year ga ves abadu ves inga hinga honna abadu ves recurrent expenditure abadu ves hinga hinga honna ves salary 
kome wante gave celery eba fekuran jehe it does not go into any ya mi gina duwahu demigenda gina duwaha ami gina duwahu hunnana kal facility ekannu recurrent expenditure ni spend kora wegen dani dem ni hunnani ege itura a a transfer payments we are which um, money being transferred for workers paying taxes to non workers such as social security payments welfare and unemployment benefits which is gives me recurrent expenditure misal ka rajya gavis me umun dos ve mi hunna de me subsidy noniya among social security payments misal ka ekane very man na de payments so ंग so it is the purchase of items that will last and will be used time and time again in the provision of goods or services so misal ka government un school en hada dini nuni hospital en hada dini nuni am bridge wali nuni am let's say hulumale project so ekale chese ki meki capital expenditure in the end so because it lasts for a long time and it can be used uh, time and time again the rajya currently recurrent expenditure is quite high that's why government is having to uh, face a lot of difficulties then a uh, budget government budget ga miyanani expenditure ya taxes no revenues so government budget surplus or deficit tax ebade so surplus a key when the revenue of the government exceeds its expenditures during the given period of time we am ko balani fiscal year ek government budget surplus se to noni noni to me ne rajya ka fiscal year is the same as hum me calendar ya hum january december by ne ka bata pure fiscal year march ma hun noni april ma fasha ga hum tab bas so within that period of time government ke revenues expenditure wo gina vet jaya hum it is said the government budget ek surplus se ke income se me then there is government budget deficit which occurs when the expenditure of the government exceeds its revenue during a given period of time so rajya ka this is always the case government uh, spends more than they actually earn so a uh, government uh, budget is always deficit in the case of more just adini mata so government borrows uh, uh, or incurs debt to finance this gap between expenditure and revenue so what is this misal ka agin amukon live income kon the expenditure samajas ta so egin hama nujahinya misal ka miyaharan em purtama sarkaram hushala ma 35 billion ge budget ek ekamako 29 billion rupiya revenue and grants ki gotu ka live enakama they they forecast it ekamako now there is a gap between this 29 billion rupiah and 35 billion rupiah so gagana ka 7 billion get close to 7 billion get deficit a meaning so a deficit finance kunang government will have to borrow uh, uh, or incur debt so government can actually borrow from domestic market or from external sources is that the domestic market that they can borrow from uh, let's say they can issue treasury bills or treasury bonds uh, issue kurima uh, this commercial banks can actually invest on these air and commercial banks that the excess of fiat they will be given to the government uh, then the meeting bills mature we the government to interest a kai ko commercial banks a deni so here ki debt inka ko ke me get a feel for um here ki then external sources of balanya Uh, 
issue kurang orang 300 million dollars ke uh, samurai bond government tu issue kurang orang to the external uh, external nuna foreign market ta international market ta eki uh, borrowing from the external sources then eki kuri misa ka 2018 2017 uh, 2018 ka mainly government uh, issued uh, a the air ke government tu issue kuri uh, external bond de uh, so uh, which will mature in 2022 ekam ko I think now it is postponed because of the COVID situation. So, if you have a loan for a year, you can get the external sources from the external sources. If you have a loan for a year, you can get the external sources from the external sources. If you have commercial banks or businesses, you can get the central bank from the external sources. It will be domestic market borrowings by the government. Misalnya kan miharu uh, government tung a eh, overdraft kurani their uh, public bank account. Eka mana nak kini mahu tu kan dari rupiah tak kan mina kani from central bank. So actually central bank is uh, actually giving them a kind of a loan facility. So mian ke bagi apa monetization names. Then ah, uh, lewat terik fiscal policy yang mihun nani. One of which is discretionary fiscal policy. So This is the policy action that is initiated by the parliament or the government. So, government or no, the parliament or a million is not again. Ah, for the agenda policy, the actions are making any discretionary fiscal policy. Yeah. So, this could include changes in tax laws and government spending patterns, which will affect the aggregate demand. So, these are deliberate policy actions by the government. Uh, misalnya kan, kalau misalnya kan taxen, wakil taxen naga fashion ni, misalnya kan mihar income tax naga fashion ni, dengan uh, government expenditure yang non spending sebab ni jauh mihar government tu, uh, <coughs> uh, let's say uh, they are starting this uh, harbour project in Guli Fadu. Uh, so, ekah uh, halakan tu ni, kerana government ke ambil the deliberate policy. So, then there are automatic fiscal policies. So this is a change in fiscal policy that is triggered by the state of the economy. Economy yang anna ami badal tak ke sabun triga wa fiscal policy tak kami kene automatic fiscal policy ye. So this could include misalnya ka gawmu ka unemployment ah ah ber unemployment rate itu wa mon dan yawong it could trigger an automatic increase in the payments to unemployed people. No. So ah ek hal got kami misalnya ka rajya ka ding ane Covid situation nak boleh kan, tu lah demi huna government tu accept deh ni ni, so because eh, kami ikut nak situation nak guli geng eh, ufe dunia accept, so alam in this case, ikan aku misalnya kat US kah, jangan tu nak bayar deh hair, special unemployment benefit schemes, so economic demi dampak tu US pada kat ada unemployment benefit tak, demi apply kurang demi huna skina begin dah. So, ero unemployment benefit tu, mungkin government tu spend kurang je, hebat automatically itu juga kita ada. So, ayam ni kene automatic fiscal policy. So, then ah uh, discretionary fiscal policies ke, dewas tering ya bahu re, one of which is expansionary fiscal policy. So, when the economy is having a recessionary gap, government imposes expansionary fiscal policy via increased expenditure or tax cuts results in, in increase in aggregate demand this is a recessionary get back the economy the aim of central bank um me let's impose for any expansionary monetary policy uh by both the government in imposes expansionary fiscal policy uh through increasing their expenditure or reducing their taxes So because of that, there will be an increase in aggregate demand. So, for example, when the government uh, uh, increases their, their expenditure directly, uh, directly aggregate demand uh, because government expenditure is part of the GDP. No, GDP government expenditure So again, automatically, itu rumah because misalnya kan government expenditure itu rupuri ma, eh heng ni pun misalnya kan, eh heng business itu kan bersifat ada begini dah ni misalnya kan they will get projects, eh orang ni pun ke investment side sehinggi na begini dah ni, ah lunia mung tax cut kopi ya mung, ah 
households can now consume more nonia uh, businesses can actually uh, invest more now so ek sabu me a government ke policy ke sabu eba ade itu multiplier effective west causing the aggregate demand curve to should shift even further towards right so a b in the city so we will talk more about the multiplier effect uh, in the upcoming slides then mean any our uh, fiscal policy ke uh, monetary policy ke ko ta inflationary get the uh, government to was make uh, impose for any contractionary fiscal policy uh, by uh, by actually decreasing their sorry uh so yeah this i should correct it so this will this will be by decreasing their uh, government expenditures and increasing their taxes which will result in decrease in the aggregate yeah. so my bad about this so this is um uh, me uh kuriya dane gotha ki so inflationary gap with the real gdp is above the potential gdp that's why the G, uh, government might reduce their expenditures or increase their taxes so erum with some for some direct impact them generate to the aggregate demand ek iturang eba ade multiplier effectiveness because government expenditure only tax gesa obong investment and consumption of this and uh, net export of this asal ta ke pura tive multiplier effecting asking aggregate demand itura pota shift ta ke milan and it goes to the potential gdp level. Then, yeah, uh, as I said, there is uh, multiplier effect. So may, there are mainly two effects we are concerned about. One of which is expenditure multiplier effect. A fiscal policy I could get. Another one is the tax uh, tax multiplier. Effect. So first we will talk about the expenditure multiplier effect. When the government purchases are said to uh, uh, government purchases are said to have multiplier effect on aggregate demand. Each dollar spent by the government can raise the aggregate demand for goods and services by more than a dollar. So let's say five billion can increase the aggregate government to. So if five billion number itur increase the government aggregate demand curve because of the multiplier effect, as I have said. So the expenditure multiplier effect refers to the additional shift in the aggregate demand that results when the expansionary fiscal policy increases. income and thereby increases the consumption of the people yeah so kurin kiya din hai uh ami government to purchases ituru kuri ma it will shift the aggregate demand by the amount of their uh purchases increase with like a 5 billion ituru kuri ma 5 billion ning eva aggregate demand curve shift way then ek itura adakka there will be a shift in the aggregate demand curve do the multiplier effect because government a fiscal expansionary fiscal policy ke sabo income of the people will rise and the consumption and the investment by the households and uh, businesses will also increase so it will cause the aggregate demand to shift even further so how big the multiplier effect depends on how much consumers responds to the increases in income so kurta ami 5 billion ni ituru efa then me on the shift depend on me how uh much consumers respond to increases in their income through tax reduction no ne khal no ni amo sales in ami salaries government to salaries increase kuri no ni amo government to excess reduce kuri ki ha barakat to consumers ya respond kurani depend me wani multiplier effect ki go to kuda so Uh, 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 we depend on the marginal from propensity to consume, which refers to the fraction of extra income that household consumer a uh, households consume rather than sell. मिसालों का साथे का रुपया के increment के salary या आयमा एक तरह की हाँ वर्त तो the households will consume. and kiha vare to save kura save kurum ge badal ko ek tere consume kurani kiha vare to niyam nikiyani marginal propensity to consume increase wa income kiha vare to save kurani ya nikiyani marginal propensity to save so this multiplier 
expenditure multiplier for Amukum, we call it multiplier thing. So do not confuse this with the money multiplier that, that we uh, covered under monetary policy. So the this, uh, expenditure mul multiplier effect for the multiplier is equal to one over one minus the marginal propensity to consume. For example, if the marginal propensity to consume is 75%, then the multiplier will be 1 over 1, 1 minus 0 0.75. That means 4A the multiplier again. In this case, a 5 billion increase in government expenditure generates 20 billion of increased demand for goods and services. Yeah. So this 5 times 4 we can be done. So, uh, so the actual the de uh, aggregate demand uh, there will be an increase of 20 billion because of the increasing government expenditure by 5 billion because the expenditure multiplier effect for the multiplier is equal to 4 in this case then uh before going into the tax multiplier i will talk about something called the crowding out effect so the fiscal policy may not affect the economy as strongly as predicted by the multiplier. Then maybe the key the expenditure multiplier uh, in, uh, in shorter uh, form multiplier in the assume Kurani aggregate demand will shift uh, will increase by 20 billion. But because of the crowding of effect, as the economy and uh, have uh, impacting at Nasdaq, so, so a crowding of, of effect So, an increase in the government purchases causes interest rates to rise. Yeah, government purchases, uh, the interest rates will rise because GDP aggregate demand curve will shift one right, right shift while if the aggregate supply remains the same, that means now the price level has increased. So price level much at the aim, interest rate was much at the time. A higher interest rate reduces the investment spending. No? Interest rate much at the aim, businesses that are uh, we borrow pura cost may high again than So because of that, uh, the investment spending will fall and also the borrowings by the households will also fall. We have a consumption spending was commerce work at the beginning of the so this reduction in demand that results when the fiscal expansion raises the interest rate is called the crowding of effect. So fiscal policy is sababong interest rate much of those king investments that should be more the any crowding out effect. The crowding out effect uh, tends to dampen the effect on of the fiscal policy on aggregate demand. A fiscal policy is how aggregate demand of Myanmar increase, Nunia will decrease. Commerce work a dampened wagon Milani because of the crowding out effect because now Migas of investment of this uh end consumption of this changes that can ask in the auntie. So when the government increases its uh purchases by 5 billion, the aggregate demand for goods and services could rise by more than 5 billion depending on whether the multiplier effect or the crowding out effect is larger. So multiplier effect of the crowding out effect for the Yam, then it will increment in Nasdaq account for multiplier uh, crowding out effect of the multiplier effect for the Yam. There will be an additional increment uh, in addition to this 5 billion. So uh, initially when an increase in the government purchases uh, increases the aggregate demand here, the increase in the interest rate reduces the uh, demand. So movement along the demand curve Myanmar because of that. As you can see in here, movement along the demand curve Myanmar because of the increase in the uh, in, uh, in the interest rate or the inflation rate. So which will actually partially offset the GDP level. Uh, increase the GDP level up to this point because of the increase in the interest rate investments of the game ethic commerce can campaign we can be done to until this point then uh so 
think comes the autonomous text multiplayer effect Nuniyama text multiplayer so this is the amount by which a change in autonomous taxes is magnified or multiplied to determine the change in the equilibrium expenditure and the real GDP that is generated. So autonomous taxes and the changes is multiply just like the uh, expenditure or we talked about. Increases in taxes decreases disposable income. Yeah. So in uh, taxes much uh, disposable income uh, which decreases the consumption expenditure. Change in the consumption expenditure is determined by the change in the marginal propensity to consume. As tax increases, it leads to a decrease in the expenditure. Uh, autonomous, uh, so because of that, autonomous tax multiplier is negative. Excess much of the aim disposable income uh, uh, consumption because of that, the autonomous tax multiplier is negative. So it is given by negative marginal propensity to consume divided by one minus marginal propensity to consume. So transfer payments uh, by the government a uh, expenditure that from before money, but it acts like a negative tax. So taxes transfer payments. So because of that, and increasing transfer payments will increase the government expenditure. So that is why this will have a, a, a formula of positive marginal propensity to uh, consume divided by one minus marginal propensity to consume. So one thing to remember here is that X multiplier, this transfer payments multiplier will be smaller than the expenditure multiplier effect. Because this happens because uh tax is like a tax dakuri come let's talk about tax reduction and transfer payments it's like a texas dakuri nuniyam transfer payment to government of me heavy aero me through disposable income of the uh, people they will actually save some amount that they get and then they can ask me every government to me spend put on the hair of transfer payment and other way government to spend put on the hair one of a a demand as a shift begin and mudan because people will save some amount of it that is why the of the transfer payments or the tax reductions is small government actually spending some uh, of their expenditure on let's say uh infrastructure development projects when they make a transfer payment or a tax reduction then, uh, yes. then we will look at automatic stabilizers, which are the changes in fiscal policy that stimulate get demand and economies goes into recession without policy makers having to take any direct action. So this is similar to the automatic fiscal policy. So government to no policy makers in ever deliberate action in Nunaga uh in Nunaga. Nunagani's fiscal policy of impacting asking, uh, get demand stimulate woman McKearney automatic stabilizers like Misaka and Kurinki adding with unemployment benefits and me who uh, the uh, uh, apply for a fashima automatic trigger me and any fiscal policy, uh, so air room or deliberate action and metasis, it get demand for it to make a midani because of automatic stabilizers. So automatic uh, stabilizers include tax system and some forms of government spending. So government spending them for unemployment benefits uh, like before money automatic stabilizers Automatic economic stabilizers work by uh, decreasing the uh, multiplier effect on fluctuations in investments and export. Yeah. So uh, so, Purim Bani, as I was saying, uh, Misaka, 
uh, automated stabilizers, Ethereum, before when it text system, and uh, also the forms of government spending, uh, which are transfer of payments. For here, I think was the uh, unemployment benefits with me, a key with me transfer payment. So it decreases the mul multiplier effect of fluctuations in investment and exports because because tax reduction and no minimum uh, transfer payment and hedima if the households or the businesses will actually save if they save off a thing and you may invest for any no minimum consume for any that is why aggregate demand curve they have both shift and non non uh me government to spend for and the government to satay karufia the spend of fear on everything uh let's say households might save 20 rupiah aero baki 80 rupiah with any consumption and heavy aggregate demand may shift away and then you buy 80 rupiah i can so every multiply for food away in a because of this so two features of economy such as the induced uh taxes and transfer payments and imports are responsible for this so in, let's talk about induced taxes and transfer payments most changes in taxes and transfer payments are not autonomous they are induced by the state of the economy in taxes that vary with real, uh, real gdp are called induced taxes gdp and change ke sababun the taxes and again the changes are we can induce taxes so taxes will usually increase when the gdp increase and the end it will decrease when the gdp decreases we are making a counter cyclical policy measures say ever side business cycle the gdp increase one moon only expand one moon dairuga government will actually charge higher taxes and when we are in a recession government will actually reduce the taxes so we are making any counter cyclical policy measures so just like induced taxes transfer payments also vary with the economy when the economy is in a recession transfer payments increases so recession at the aim of unemployment war was bodo again that so it has benefits then you have or it through again but they are during a recession so, but the opposite happens when the uh, economy is in an expansionary or uh, expansionary period then the transfer payments will decline however overall induced taxes and transfer payments have two increasing conse uh, consequences they act as automatic stabilizers and they decrease the size of multiplayer as i have mentioned before Then uh, Anika is looking into automatic stabilization. This occurs due to the effect of income from induced taxes and transfer payments. Induced taxes and transfer payments make the fluctuations in the disposable income smaller than those in real GDP. By decreasing the swings in uh, disposable income and consumption expenditure, induced uh, taxes and transfer payments slows expansion and moderates Recessions, yes, sir. The smaller a multiplier effect comes from uh, the induced taxes and uh, payments because it weakens the link between real GDP and the disposable income and decreases the effect of change in real GDP on consumption expenditure. They decreases the multiplier effect resulting from changes in consumption expenditure. So, this I have explained before. So it's to uh, detail for me or any better. Then imports of Balanyamo imports also act like induced taxes and transfer payments. High marginal propensity to import reduces expenditure on homemade goods and hence it creates smaller effect on autonomous expenditure multiplier and smaller the fluctuations in GDP. For example, let's say uh, government hung uh, me now no niyamu people me hung get uh, tech uh, income ituru vima. They might uh, choose to import more rather than consume the products which are produced within the country. 
ोर्ट it creates smaller effect of autonomous market expenditure multiplier and smaller other fluctuations in the real gdp expenditure multiplier kuda vegen midani marginal propensity to import ituru varaka ehewima e gesa opon real gdp ya pura asaruwas kuda vegen midani the cyclically adjusted deficit so government budget balance uh, fluctuates with the business cycle uh, usually this happens so during a recession uh, government budget balance itura deficit wage medani during expansionary period government ke budget balance uh, surplus ka higada but in the case of more this expansionary period ke deficit kuda wage medani a systematic approach is needed to measure whether change in balance is temporary uh, a temporary or cyclical phenomenon or a person Persistence phenomenon. अब तो ये सुनने का मित्र तो नोनिया मुझे सिक्लिकल बिजनेस साइकल ला है दिगंत तो गवर्नमेंट बजट में सिचुएशंस में आने नहीं. That we need to measure. Structural budget balance and cyclical budget balance are the concepts used by economists to determine this situation. So let's talk about structural and cyclical budget uh, surplus or deficit. Structural surplus or deficit is the budget balance that would occur. If the economy was at full employment and real GDP is equal to potential GDP, so uh, let's say if we are operating at the full employment level, that is where our potential GDP is at. So real GDP or potential GDP will be equal. So at that point, if we are having a deficit, that means it is, for example, here you see uh, this Y not. Or why not? Uh, Aki me potential GDP level. At this potential GDP level, what we see is that expenses are higher than the revenue. So potential GDP level, if the expenditure are higher than the revenue, then we call it as a structural deficit. And also, if uh in why uh, why uh, two ga me that kya deni? This is the real GDP and it comes. So if this is our sorry potential GDP, so if this is our potential GDP at this point, what we are seeing is that revenue is actually higher than the expenses. So potential GDP, if the revenue is higher than the expenses, then it is a structural surplus. Then the the uh, cyclical surplus and deficit in is the actual surplus or the deficit minus the structural surplus or deficit. So this business, ah, ah, we have a cyclical unemployment. Okay, got a cyclical ah budget surplus. So we are in a business cycle. Ah, here again. So actual business cycle, ah, uh, actual budget deficit minus the structural budget deficit gives us the cyclical budget deficit, which of uh, which occurs due to the business cycle. And the same for the. Cyclical surplus as well. Business cycle के साथ बुम अन्य चेंजेस के साथ बुम उसे दे deficit और surplus हम लिखें cyclical deficit और surplus. Then we I have talked about how the fiscal policy actually affects the aggregate demand, but something to keep in mind is that fiscal policy can actually affect the aggregate supply as well. So for example. A tax reduction or a tax cut acts as a temporary positive supply shock. Pol ah uh, supply ah uh, ang ang na positive shock. Ek bato ka ekta tax cuts mi work ko rani. A tax cut lowers the wage cost of production, increasing aggregate supply. So the ah uh, short-run aggregate supply curve shifts downward to the ah uh, end to the right. So what happens is, ah, uh, when there is, ah, uh, 
uh, let's say a payroll tax cut, it will increase the aggregate demand as well. Uh, that we can see here a uh, true con consumption and uh, investments. Then uh, uh, it will also reduce the costs of the production process. Aerom now uh, actually businesses can uh, produce more. So it will shift the aggregate demand, aggregate supply, distortion, aggregate supply curve to the right as well. So it will increase the GDP potential. So the tax cut also increases disposable income, thus consumption. So a aggregate demand decide on me and name that. So suppose the aggregate output is below its potential GDP. So if this is uh, at the port, uh, if this is our real GDP level, uh, so which is less than the potential GDP level uh, represented by the long run uh, aggregate supply curve. So if it is at this point, if there is a uh, economic recession game, or any, so if the government de decides to uh, cut down their taxes, they impact a many, one of which is uh, an increase in uh, disposable income reserve and consumption expenditure. Uh, which will cause a shift in the IKEA demand curve. Itura, the production cost was uh, because uh, tax cut Kurima businesses now they will have more uh, money to spend uh, as well. So they can increase the supply. So they impacting about it. So because of that, uh, now we are reaching to a potential GDP level. And also what we see is that the inflation is also decreasing because of that. Then uh, the supply side has emphasized the positive effects of tax cuts on uh, aggregate supply. They believe permanent cuts in tax cuts not only raises aggregate demand, but also have a permanent positive effect on aggregate supply because they induce more investment and greater uh, work effort. So what they are saying is they may make it in the impact ke itura. It will actually cause a shift in the long run aggregate supply curve as well. Eh? Because tax reduction gets out they can invest more in let's say capital goods aerom as a misaka machineries known as technological advancement itura spend for which will uh, actually increase the capacity of the economy to produce more goods and services which will cause a shift in the aggregate a longer aggregate supply curve as well so our potential gdp is also increasing because of that so this it on uh, fiscal policy and i have uh, put two videos that you, ca you guys can go through uh, in the uh, in your own time.